Exploring the deep sea with a robot, they say, is akin to trying to explore the Rocky Mountains uh, using a flashlight in the dark. My name is Sharice Dupree, and I am a PhD student at the University of Victoria. I study uh, marine biology in the deep sea. I study the biodiversity in sponge and coral um, ecosystems in Canada's oceans. I study the deep sea by, uh, by use of robots. So we send down um, remotely operated vehicles from the ship and they're, they're tethered to the ship. So we get to sit uh, on board and control them and we drive them around the sea floor uh, up to kilometers below us. And you know, the footage that we do get some, some of it's never been seen before. These animals haven't been seen in their natural environments, so it's pretty special to be able to do that, but we're really just starting to scratch the surface of what's down there. After the cruise, I come back to my lab here and uh, I watch the HD footage and I turn all this beautiful imagery into data, so ones and twos in a, in a spreadsheet um, that I can then analyze and uh, be, able to, be able to turn into um, scientific evidence. I've been pretty fortunate in my research, I've gone uh, uh, off the west coast, uh, up in the Arctic, and off the east coast of Canada, and you live aboard these ships, uh, so it's really great because you're with uh, maybe like a dozen to 60 other scientists, so you, you just get to geek it out 24-7. You have to get over motion sickness on the ship, uh, and sometimes we have pretty rough weather up in the Arctic. We were caught in a storm, and not only were waves an issue, but we also had icebergs getting thrown around, and the ship had to move over to Greenland to hide from the storm. We just remind ourselves that we're seeing things that not many other people have seen, and sometimes you just got to consider yourself fortunate, and you'll be you'll be sitting in front of that camera, and the next thing you know, a swordfish swims in front of it and behaves in a way that nobody's ever documented before, and the entire room just goes crazy, um, unbelievable that we could see something like this, and those are the moments that make it all worth it. By doing this type of research, I hope to inform uh, on how important it is to protect coral and sponges um, in sustaining these fish.